Yo, what's going on everybody? CC Legendary with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Bad Lion Replay mod. It's not too complicated to learn, but I'll just be showing you the basics and there has been some updates, but it's nothing too hard. Uh, Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so first off, first thing you want to do is you want to hit your right shift button to open up the mods menu, or if that doesn't work, you hit escape and then you just go to bad line options and click on mods. Then you want to search replay or you want to just search for uh, replay in the in the menu. And replay right there. So then you click on it, you enable it, and then you go to your start stop recording. You want to set that to uh, just a free key bind and then these are all settings it doesn't really matter then you want to hit p to start work no you want to hit that key to start recording and then what's happening is it's recording everything that you have rendered so if you want to go into let's say a bed wars game it will show the all the the it'll show the entire map so let's get into a game a game Actually, I don't actually think I have much to show, so I'll just play a game, and then I'll show you guys. What is happening? No. No. My PC. Dude. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, my computer has a pretty hard time recording while playing. So now what you do to get to those replays is you click escape, disconnect. Whoa then you go to replay viewer you let all your replays load which if you're watching this video probably isn't very many click on this reply all right so once you get into your replay you are basically in spectator mode and you can view anything that you had in render distance and so what you need to do is you hit T or whatever your key is to get into the text box. Then you can drag up this little bar at the bottom and it tells you all these hotkeys. You can set them to whatever you want. I don't care. And then the main ones you need to focus on are V, so synchronized timelines and pause play. And then roll clockwise and roll counterclockwise. Um, so you can rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, and then hit K to basically reset it all. But this is all much less important. What you want to know is, like, because those you can just figure out on yourself, but this part is the hardest part to know. So I would hit V, which is my Optifine zoom, but that's a good, just ignore that. That synchronizes these two timelines. So this is the timeline that tells you that's like what's actually playing. This is for the keyframes you put up. So if I wanna have a keyframe right here, looking down at me, I would set this as a keyframe hitting those two, the hourglass and the square. Then I would move to where I'd wanna go. But you wanna play so there's movement. So you play, you go like, all right, stop there. Then you can like move to directly where I, and hit like B to synchronize the timelines. Uh, tap it actually 
for some reason you have to like touch the timeline for it to work and then you hit those two things again and then you can hit this little play button up there and it tells you or it shows you a what it would look like sometimes it's a bit buggy at first because it takes a while to load well also my pc's poop all right so that's just you know that works uh then you hit play again and you can go all right i want to move to like here so i'm looking at these guys and normally what i would do or is i want to have a clear path from me to that from where i'm ending but that's sometimes not like if it, it's mostly with blocks that you want to have a clear, clear path and you just want to know where players are so then you come here and you're like all right go there uh hit v then set this and you see here there's a preview path and it automatically like uses a, so it's already turning before you actually get to the first keyframe and it's not a straight line because then it makes it look a lot less smooth than if it went in like a straight line straight line and then turned so it's really not too complicated <laughs> And then, once you're done doing whatever you're doing, like what I just did, I, I didn't need to do this. It doesn't even like look very good, but like, you know, I, I, I haven't done it in a while. But now, once you're done, after you've perfected it to what you want, if you want it to look better, you can go to options, video settings, shaders, and then if you have shaders installed, you can put shaders on. Uh, I could do a video explaining how to put shaders on, but that's not really too important. Now when you're done making sure you have it how you like it, you hit this little file, and then you go bloop 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 bloop, you name it, uh, video games hog, no, it doesn't, you don't, it doesn't matter what you name, uh, that's not the backspace, it doesn't matter what you name it. You just go blah blah blah. These things don't matter. Uh, you can change your frame rate. It goes up to 120. You can change a bit rate. I don't know how high that goes. Never actually experimented. Render. This is how you murder your computer if you do 10 million bit rate. Don't kill me. Don't don't just drop kick my computer. I mean it's only 38 minutes. You just let it run for a while. Those don't quite look like how long seconds last. Oh no, it's slowing down. <sighs> yeah, it, it doesn't take too long most of the time. I mean, depending on the quality you put it, I just max it out for no reason. It's probably not even gonna look good. Um, but really, yeah, that's all there is. Uh, good luck, have fun, and create good things. Yeah.